From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon on Afternoons LA Late as the Consumer Price Index number for the month of November 2022 is released. And did inflation peak or did not? Did inflation cool or did it not? We'll jump into the headline number and then the component parts which items got cheaper we learn in the brand new inflationary report and which items went higher wall street reacts initially the market was up 700 points on the release of cpi that's no longer the case at the times of today's broadcast and tonight the time of today's recording i'll go over what happened so quickly for the market to turn the other direction then the white house reacts to the news travel and leisure is cooling very quickly and housing is not, and housing is 30% of the CPI, and yet it is up 7% year-to-date in today's number. That's why you have to get these incredible stimulus checks, which include money for housing. $300,000 of stimulus checks, fast stimulus checks, 18 months of stimulus checks. And how much money? $3,000 a month, five checks per month is on average. We're gonna go over these incredible stimulus checks in this recording. I'm going to show you how to get these huge stimulus checks the viewers have been getting since the month of March. They're from the federal government. They have nothing to do with your state. And they're paying out 18 months of incredible stimulus checks, five stimulus checks per month. We'll go over all the latest details of these great stimulus checks, which are everywhere in today's recording. But it's also at Holidays LA. And in today's show, we're going to not only cover the breaking news of the economy, the breaking news of stimulus, but also the breaking news of you know, the next best thing, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Bob Bacon's leaving the room right away. In today's recording, we're going to go over the beauty of cooking Brussels sprouts for the holiday season with chocolate cake. Yes, it's back on for another year of Brussels sprouts and chocolate cake. Not in the same dish, but in the same, <laughs> the same show. In today's recording, we go over the deliciousness of how to cook Brussels sprouts for the holidays and how to do a sugar-free chocolate cake. Oh, it is deliciousness. Well, that and more <laughs> fan favorite for the holiday season. It's all right here, right now on Holidays Light. Good afternoon, everyone. We're all awaiting the Federal Reserve's comments. They're coming in less than 24 hours after the Consumer Price Index was released this morning. And Jay Powell's also going to be discussing tomorrow his reaction to my sugar free chocolate cake recipe. <laughs> That's coming up tomorrow as well. The Consumer Price Index number was released this morning. We're going to go over the breaking news on that in just a second. But in this recording, we're going to go over these massive stimulus checks. $300,000 of stimulus checks, fast stimulus checks, 18 months of stimulus checks with $3,000 of stimulus checks per month. Five stimulus checks on average per month. It's huge. And we're going to go over all this incredible money. You get it right now because the economy is less than 30 days away from a recession. And today's data that came in was confusing even for Wall Street. We'll go over all that breaking news in today's recording from the shores of Santa Monica, California. So much to go over, so much breaking news. It all starts right here, right now on Afternoons. The Consumer Price Index number, which gauges inflation, was released this morning. And going into today's announcement, you and I had already predicted the following. We have predicted the CPI month to month was going to go up about a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, you know, the same thing all the time. And that year to day, we were predicting, we were predicting that the CPI was going to go up about a, a 7% something number, 7.1, 7.2, 7, 7.3. Let's remember, inflation started a year ago this month at 8%. J-Pal's raised interest rates every month ever since to get inflation down to 2%, and he's only gotten it from 8% to 7 plus. What was the breaking news today? You got it right, Purple Power. Congratulations. You got it absolutely correct. The CPI release today showed that year to day, it came in at a 7.1% inflationary rate. Not anything to celebrate, because J-Pal wants to get it to 2%. He's been working on this for a year. 
only getting it from 8 to 7.1. Not a big celebration mode at all. Wall Street is looking for 7.3, but this is basically on the money. How about month to month? It went up as well. They were looking at a 0.3 across the board. It came in at 0.1. Now, a little bit weaker than expected, but let's understand. j Powell wants his inflation at 2% year to day. It's at 7.1. He's been trying this for a year. He hasn't achieved. And that is why the markets took a little bit of breather and then realized this was not particularly good news. This is what happened today. The show is taped a little bit later than usual. The show is usually taped earlier in the day. But that's where the markets changed. When the announcement of the CPI came in sh shortly before sunrise on the West Coast, the markets rallied up 700 plus points. Wow. That is likely exactly what you and I expected because market always rallies up on news and then they fall apart the next day. So what happened? They fell apart in a few hours. The market was down just in a few hours after that. So it went from plus 700 to a negative trading day. And at the, time of today, at the time of this broadcast, where the market is still open for just a few more hours, it's up about 100, 200 points. So the market is very, very confused with the data. You should be as well. And that's why you really want to get all these incredible stimulus checks. These huge stimulus checks are needed because that financial cliff is less than 30 days away. Let's look at that graphic right now. Become a member, grind this video, join the channel, and get ready for these incredible stimulus checks. Let's look at those huge stimulus checks right now. These huge stimulus checks were passed in the month of March, and they're absolutely incredible. $300,000 of stimulus checks, they're everywhere. Viewers have been getting them since March. These stimulus checks are paying out about five stimulus checks per month and about $3,000 of stimulus checks every month. These are 18 months of MSC, monthly stimulus checks, and they're absolutely incredible. And these incredible stimulus checks will be featured over this entire broadcast, so stay with me. I'm going to go over each stimulus check with you one at a time. But first, let's go back into the breaking news we're working on today. So the CPI was released. What did the numbers show? And then what got cheaper and what got higher? So the CPI came in exactly as you had predicted, Purple Power. You did this really well once again. You're perfect. Your track record is really perfect, perfect Purple Power, this year on predicting CPIs. Year-to-date, it came in at 7.1% positive. And this was in, after a year of raising interest rates. It's only come from 8 to a 7.1. Jay Powell says they will not stop until it gets to 2%. This was a little bit weaker than Wall Street expected, but they expected 7.3. 7.1, 7.3, it's basically the same number. Month to month, how much did inflation go up? 0.1 compared to a prediction of 0.3. Again, basically the same thing. Now, here is where it gets really interesting. What got cheaper and what got more expensive? Jump in the live chat right now. What were the items you believe got cheaper in the latest CPI report? The last CPI report, we had three items that got cheaper. They were gasoline, they were used cars, and they were medical. And at the time, they were about a 0.2, 0.3 percentage down. So they were not even a 1 percentage point down. Here you go. If you said used cars, once again, took the big fall in the latest data, you got it right. Used cars were down 3.3 percent in 30 days. That's a big fall. You know why? Because people cannot afford a used car with a car loan. It's too expensive now. But we had some surprises in here. Appliances, major appliances, were down 1 percent in one month. Computers... And assist and smart home appliances down 4.4%. And where's the beef? It's cheaper. <laughs> beef and veal was down 5.2%. Now, that's sort of ridiculous because veal's already been too expensive for over a year. I mean, veal's been absurdly expensive. And so the, say, the fact that it's down 5.2% is not much of a celebration. Nor is car rentals. How much are those ridiculous car rentals where you live? They've been, you know, $200 a day in Los Angeles for just over a year. So the fact that the car rental was down 6%, smartphones, not so smart, down 23% in just one month. Thou, those were the biggest falls. Now, has inflation peaked? No, it has not peaked. A positive number is not that is not an indication that inflation is coming down. What is a peak? You're going up a hill, driving up a hill, and then suddenly you're going down the hill, going down the hill, or going down the stairs in the house, going down the stairs in the house. Inflation peaked would mean that the headline number is negative. It wasn't. That the annualized number year-to-date is negative. It's not. It's a 7.1. It's up 7% still year-to-date. So has anything in here indicative of peaking? Well, just those few we went over 
cars and 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 um, television sets down 70% and smartphones. But here you go. These items have absolutely not peaked and they were up an enormous amount year to date in the latest numbers. Eggs, up 49% in one year in the latest CPI report. Airline fares, still up a lot, 36%. Butter and margin, I can't believe it's butter. <laughs> up 34% and then a head of lettuce. I can't wrap my head around this one. <laughs> It's up 20% still year to date. Pet food for that pet lobster at Mitch's house, up 16% as well. And utilities, of course, up a lot. And milk makes you lactose intolerant when you read this one, up 15% year to date. Oh, my goodness. That's why you need to get these incredible stimulus checks. Big stimulus checks for the federal government, FSC, and they're huge. Let's go over these incredible federal stimulus checks right now as I'm trying to manipulate the show and I keep on putting my hands into the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> There's like Brussels sprouts all over me in this set, folks. And they're coming up in just a second. <laughs> it's just like invasion of the Brussels sprout broadcast today. That's why you have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. Where are they? How do they happen? What do I need to know? These incredible stimulus checks started in the month of March, and they are absolutely incredible. With Joseph Biden, let's look at those incredible stimulus checks right now. $300,000 of checks, but the first three checks came from Joseph Biden, and let's start with those first three, A, B, and C. Joseph Biden came along by executive action in the month of March and passed the first three checks, A, B, and C, and they're absolutely wonderful. Single individual, $75,000 less, you qualify if that's your annual income. Married couple, $150,000 less, you qualify as well. And if you're on benefits, you qualify as well. Go right on this video, join the channel, become a member, then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That's where you apply for the checks. You step one, become a member, then you get that newsletter, from me, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We'll go over all this in just a second. Watch the whole video. What happened after this? Congress came along and passed other checks, bringing us to hundreds of checks, and those are checks E through K. I found you more stimulus checks, and those are L all the way to Q. Those incredible stimulus checks, all those stimulus checks, A to Q, where do I apply? In the newsletter. How do I get the newsletter? Know your time zone, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, via the YouTube alert. At exactly that time, you get an alert. At exactly that time, you get an alert. And in that alert, you go down past the guy at the surfboard. There he is. Click the link right after. It says View Post. And it sends you right into the membership newsletter. And you pounce to get those incredible checks as quickly as possible. And you need to get those incredible checks because guess what? There's a financial cliff. There's a recession just 30 days away. Get those incredible checks right today. I'm going to go over all those checks one at a time in just a second. What was Wall Street's reaction to the CPI news today? This story is changing by the hour. This is totally different than even on mornings when I was live with you this morning. So Wall Street was initially ecstatic with the CPI data. Why? I'm not going to really analyze why because it was gone in just a few hours. The markets were up 700 points initially when the CPI was released, and then they were down, and now they're up about 100 plus points. The reaction to the news was that inflation's cooling. Cooling is the correct word. Peaked, not peaked, is not the correct word because when you have milk and eggs still up 39% year to date, that's not an example of inflation peaked. It's still going up. It's still going up 39% year to date across the board. Cooling, yeah, that's that's a more appropriate word. And Jim Cramer reacted to the news. Some people call me the next Jim Cramer. I appreciate that compliment. They said, uh, Jim Cramer said, this is a remarkable number. Remarkable? I don't agree, Jim. Um, it was exactly what the channel predicted. We all knew it was going to be a 7% CPI number. We all knew it was not going to be a 6%. And there was, we all also knew there was nothing going to be celebratory in the number at all. It was still going to show that Jay Powell has a long way to get to 2% inflation. He's barely gotten it down 1% in one year. The Fed could dismiss the better than expected October and now believe that it was a that this is the new disinflationary trend harder to dismiss. Uh, but that might make sense. This is from Paul Ashcroft at Capital Economics, but the second quote, second part of the sentence, does not make sense. Stick a fork in it, inflation is done. That is so ridiculously untrue. <laughs> that is so ridiculously untrue. Stick a fork in it, inflation is done. If inflation was done, then all these component parts would be down. They're not down. The only thing that's done with inflation is used cars, computers, and beef and veal. 
How about my fish? <laughs> How about my fish? How about my Brussels sprout? How about my sugar fuck chocolate cake? That's coming up in just a second. <laughs> Those are still up. So stick a fork in that analysis. That, that analysis is overcooked. Uh, the next reaction to the news is, is exactly where you want to get your eyes loosened up. Uh, get your eyes loosened up. Because here we go. We're about to roll our eyes. And who is that reaction to the news from? Joseph Biden. Your beloved president um, is going to get a little bit of um, me pulling the history game on him. Because the White House reacted to the news by praising it today. Praising it today? Come on, Joe. Uh, it's, this is where people do not like politicians. Joseph Biden, a few months ago, was asked about a very bad CPI report. Do you remember that? It was about the summer. He was asked about a very bad CPI report. And what did the president say? He said, I said, he said, the CPI is not a reliable benchmark. It's not a live number. The economy's changed in the last 30 days. It's not a reliable number. Well, first of all, the CPI is always delayed. It's for the prior month. That's why it's called the month of November today in December. But then, earlier this year, when the number was not a particularly good number, he didn't like it. He didn't, he didn't like not only the number, he didn't like the c entire CPI. He trashed off the whole CPI. Today, he loved the CPI. That's why people don't like politicians. We've learned last month that the inflation rate came down more than expected. In the world where inflation is double digit in many economies, inflation is coming down in America. Not for milk and eggs. <laughs> Not for milk and eggs. For used cars, yeah. <laughs> for used cars are coming down in America. But other than that, no. Housing and travel cooling off really fast. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Let's go to the travel and leisure. Travel and leisure is a very, very big topic on this channel because travel and leisure is really what's causing our inflation. Americans are spending too much money on, tr on hotels and, and airlines. And they're putting it on credit card debt. They're creating financial instability for their households. But they're also causing inflation. Well, the good news, ironically, comes from JetBlue, the airline, that says the demand is really cooling off very quickly. We also saw this in the latest index released today, the CPI, that showed that travel and leisure fell 5% in one month. But the airlines say, no, it's falling much faster than that. They say the demand is going away very, very quickly. It's not like the summer. It's shrinking very, very quickly across the board. Housing inflation, however, is where the major story was today. The headline inflationary number today showed you what? That inflation went up 7.1% year to date. 30% of that number comes from housing. And how much was that housing? Which is, in other words, in other words for rent. Rent went up 7.1% year-to-date in the latest number. Folks, you can get the travel and leisure down by crippling the demand. That seems to be working. We're getting the travel and leisure down, so that's bringing that inflation down. But if you do not get the housing down, if you don't get those crazy landlord rent prices down, and they can still get 7% higher rent on you from you than a year before, you're going to have a big problem with inflation. And j Powell needs to figure out how to get that rent down. Because raising those interest rates tomorrow by 50 basis point, I'll feature it live on air when it's announced, is not solved if the landlords can still stick a fork in you and get you a 7% higher rent than the prior year. It's very, very important. And that's why you need to get all these credible stimulus checks, which include a lot of money for stimulus for the rent. And let's look at these incredible stimulus checks right now. The first three checks were passed by Joseph Biden by executive action, and let's look at them right now. Check A, a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. Do you want it? Of course you want it. And thank you for Michael for joining us in that live show on Mornings LA Today. He was great. He's from Oklahoma. And he had some questions about how stimulus goes, goes on. Let's recap what I said then in this recording right now. So for check A, how would he get check A? Step one, become a member, which he already was. Then, check A is $12,000. How does he get check A? Step one, know your time zone. He's Oklahoma, so he is Central Standard Time. CT says Dragon. That's 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, his time. At 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, he gets an alert from YouTube. Sent directly to him at exactly 9 o'clock. Not approximately, exactly. In that YouTube alert, it says click here to go right into the newsletter. You go right into the newsletter. You go down to check A, click the link, and go right and apply at check A right there. Again, you get that alert. You open the alert. 
you go right into the newsletter and you apply at check A. You're not done there yet. You're going to go to check B. When you get that alert at your local time zone, he's Central Standard Time, like Missouri and Illinois, which for him is 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. You get that alert. You go past the guy at the surfboard. Down where it says click and view post, you go right in. It clicks you and sends you right into the newsletter. At check B in the newsletter, you click the link and go right and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go to check C. Now, check C is for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. There are 12 places to reach out to for these monies in the newsletter. And what's important is that you reach out to all 12 places. You're going to get a no, but you're also going to get a yes. And when you go to those incredible 12 places, you can get some rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. Here are examples. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go get some check C's. Do you want $15,000 of utilities? Go get some check C's. Become a member. Snap a quarter million dollars over 10 years from Mark's brother-in-law. Combinations of checks. Mark went from $32,000 of stimulus checks to $50,000 of stimulus checks to $100,000 of stimulus checks and then $166,000. Here's Lorraine. She was at $105,000 to went to $155,000. On Mornings LA, we had a fascinating discussion today. It was a lot of fun, that live show. Don't miss it. It's always on this channel at 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I mentioned to the viewers in the live chat that overnight I had a viewer in Arizona send me a private message on Facebook. What did that viewer say? She said that she reached out to one place for rent in Arizona, and they said there's no such pl there's no such money anymore. Now, here's what's wrong with her comment or her message. She reached out to one place. I've been making this recording for two and a half years. You don't reach out to one place and get a no and stop. In the newsletter, I have 12 places for you to reach out for check C. Dragon was in the live chat, and she said there's upwards of 220 places to reach out for rent in Arizona. On day one of this channel, when I launched it, I was covering EI Deal grants, and I said to viewers, if you pick up the phone and contact SBA and say, where's my grant money, and you get someone on the phone that says no, politely hang up the phone and call back and get someone that says yes. That's how you rock and roll. So don't make one call and get a no and stop. Shortly before this recording started, guess what I also had? I had a viewer who posted a comment who's a member uh, under the video. It was held and not posted, but I allowed it to post. And the viewer wrote the following. The viewer wrote, in Alabama, the only stimulus money went to Mobile. What's wrong with that statement? Everything. Because I'm not here to cover Alabama state Stimulus. I don't know anything about Alabama. I don't even know the capital of Alabama. I don't even know what state is next to. I don't cover Alabama stimulus. I cover federal stimulus. Federal stimulus doesn't care what city you're in. It doesn't care if you're in Mobile or doesn't care if you're in another city, of which I don't know another city in Alabama. It's federal stimulus that's for Americans, not for particular cities in Alabama. Go right in this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. If we want to delay, let's go right into some more stimulus checks. Let's continue with this incredible stimulus checks by going into stimulus checks E through K right now. Uh, because we have a big second half with Brussels sprouts and more about this CPI report. <laughs> Look how that pairs up beautifully. Uh, I'll have a pairing of Brussels sprouts with CPI. Uh, <laughs> let's continue with these incredible stimulus checks that were done by Congress in the month of March. And those are the beautiful checks E through K, and they are incredible. Checky is a $7,500 stimulus check. How do you get this? You go right on this video, become a member. Then, in that newsletter, go down to stimulus check E through K. It's in the newsletter together. Stimulus check E, $7,500 stimulus check. Stimulus check F, $4,000 stimulus check. Stimulus check G, a beautiful 30% off. Love it. Stimulus check H, $2,000 stimulus check. Then stimulus I, a beautiful $8,000 stimulus check. Incredible. Again, these are all together in the membership newsletter at E through K. These are the ones that Congress did. J is an $8,000 stimulus check. K is a $14,000 stimulus check. Love it. Now, let's go over to the other stimulus checks I found you thereafter. These are the ones I found you. And they're together in the membership newsletter starting at stimulus L. L like Larry or lots like an M like money. L, $100,000 on average of loan industry money. And $4,000 of grant money is M. N, do you want a brand new tablet, 
computer or laptop for Christmas? Of course you do. And that is Stimulus N. And how do you get it? You go down in the membership newsletter, Stimulus N. Click the link, link and go right and apply. It's a great stimulus. It's a fast paying stimulus. And it's absolutely wonderful to get that tablet for the Christmas holidays. Do it right today. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, no uh, insurance required. And Stimulus P and Q, Q is $8,000 stimulus check and P is 3% refi. Absolutely wonderful. So let's go over some more details about these federal stimulus checks. They're from the federal government, so they're for Americans. They're not for particular cities. They don't care where you live, so long as you are an American. Federal stimulus means there's a lot of money. Larger stimulus check, $100,000. Small stimulus check, $8,000. When this become a law? In March. Have you been getting since the month of March? Yes. How quickly could you get stimulus checks? Viewers on this channel are getting stimulus checks, in some cases, in less than 24 or 48 hours. Frank Mancuso, featured extensively on this channel, started in one month, and he got 18 months of monthly stimulus checks with about five stimulus checks per month. He did that in less than 30 days. It's happening all the time. What is the checks what are the checks for they're for rent utilities mortgage assistance home repairs home appliances the car the computer the telephone the internet a lot of deliciousness across the board and moreover what's important to understand you need to pounce really quickly and get these incredible stimulus checks all right after that what are the next stimulus checks to focus on they're in the membership news and they're called stimulus check d for inflation release stimulus checks, ISCs. They're not a lot of money. That's why I call them ISCs, also for, for icing. Like the icing on the cake. They're not the cake, they're like the icing. They're about $1,000. And then finally, lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Where are your lifetime stimulus checks going if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Wearable Benefits, and Veterans Benefits? Let's recap right today. So we're currently in the month of December, starting January 1, you're going to get a brand new raise. The current check you have right now in December is a 5.9% raise from the prior year. Next year, you're going to get an 8.7% raise on top of that 5.9%. That will be all next year. Then, in January 2024, you're going to get another raise on top of that. And in January 2025, you'll get another raise on top of that. Meantime, by 2024, the cost of items you'll be buying will be the cheapest of a generation, and your benefits check will be the largest of a generation. In the big second half, we jump back into the CPI. We're going to do a little bit more analysis and how it impacts you and your wallet, how it impacts you and your family, and how it impacts stimulus. And then guess what's going to also happen? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> In the big second half, I have a sugar-free chocolate cake recipe for you and how to cook Brussels sprouts separately, not together. <laughs> In the big second half. It is not one recipe. It's two different meals. And it's one incredible show. <laughs> it's coming up in the big second half. It's holidays, LA. I'll see you back in 60 seconds with more stimulus as well in that big second half as afternoon's holidays edition continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And let me continue.
continues in the big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Tomorrow, Jay Powell announces that a likely 50 basis point increase across the board. That interest rate increase is no surprise from the viewers of this channel, but the question mark is what happens thereafter. I believe he's going to stay at 50 basis point for a while, but potentially could go higher. Also, on Thursday, we had the latest numbers on unemployment. We're not going to look at the jobless claims numbers new. We're going to look at the long-term unemployment numbers. That is not a good number currently. Currently about 1.6 million, adding about 67,000 per day. It's a big week, and we're just getting started. And the big second half, we're going to go over more about the CPI and into some chocolate cake. How are you? Happy holidays. Nothing says the holidays more than sugar-free chocolate cake. It was a recipe featured on this channel last year and the year before and is a fan favorite. So let's go over that sugar-free chocolate cake. First, you need to have this. Hershey's Cocoa, which is a wonderful, wonderful product. It is pure cocoa. So there is no sugar in it. Here it is, Hershey's Cocoa. You can get it from your Walmart or your Amazon. And it is pure cocoa uh, with a little bit of alkali. And it's absolutely wonderful. Or cacao. I say ca cocoa. Cacao, cocoa. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Next, you need some white all-purpose flour. You can use a different type of flour. That's all you have around the house. Then you need some extra virgin olive oil. You need some baking powder, some baking soda. You need some salt. You need a mixing, mixing bowl. I like a, um, a spring form pan, which I think is easier to do this. And then when it comes to your crust, to your base, you can do this however you want to do it. You do a graham, cr a, graham cr uh, a, cr a graham cracker crust bottom if you wish, or you can just do a, a traditional bottom. Let me how you tell you how I do my graham cracker crust bottom. Very, very simple. You want to get that graham cracker flour graham cracker uh, flour, you want to put a little bit of butter in with it in a mixing bowl, whip it around, and then spread it on the base of that springform pan. All right, now in our separate mixing bowls, we get ready to do our flour mix before we add in our wets. Your dries are going to be the all-purpose flour and your, uh, your seasoning, like your salt, and then, your, of course, your cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. Uh, first, you want to do probably about two to three cups of all-purpose flour. Then you want to add about two cups of your, your cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. Uh, your cocoa. <laughs> oh, schmucko. Uh, <laughs> to the mixing bowl. How do you know where the ratios are? When you're doing it, you want to come out as sort of a, be a light beige color. So if you're dark brown, you're, you, have, you don't have enough white flour. If you are really pale and you don't see really any tint to it, you have way too much white flour. So you want to have it as a basically a, a, a coffee and cream coloring in the, in the mixtures. That's how you know you did your ratios of white flour to the, the cocoa flour correctly. All right, time to add some salt. Salt is not a necessary ingredient. So if you cannot, if you have a low sodium diet, you do not need salt. But if you can do a little bit of salt, you know, I, I, I'd probably put about a, a one or two teaspoons of salt. That's all you really need. Now you need some baking soda and you need some baking powder. I like a lot of baking powder because I want it to really rise and it does really rise. So I think I usually go for almost three teaspoons of baking powder. Yeah, baking soda, not so dependent. If you don't really want it, you can leave it alone completely. All right, those are your dries. Now, with that, what are your wets? There's different ways to do your wets ingredients. In the back of the box, it tells you to use eggs. I don't need eggs for it. It tells you to um, use vegetable oil. I disagree. It tells you to use vanilla extract. I do use that. And it tells you to use vegetable oil. I disagree on that one. So what I use for my wets is first, I want to put in my milk initially. So my milk, I probably need about two cups of any type of milk. Um, if you are an, uh, on a low-fat diet, you could do a, a non-fat milk. But if you're not on a low-fat diet, just do a normal milk. You don't need a cream. It won't come, it won't come out of the flavor. Next, um, pour, pour that in. Mix it around. Then it's time to bring in the olive oil. The olive oil is a very critical ingredient to my recipe for the sugar-free chocolate cake. The olive oil really takes the chocolate and makes it decadent. People would never think of putting olive oil and chocolate together, but it's a real old trick that it makes the chocolate more 
chocolatey and dark and richer. It's olive oil, not, as the box says, vegetable oil. It doesn't really work at all. You want to mix that around, and at that point, you should be getting a really wet, almost runny texture. It has a little bit of stickiness to it. Finally, if you're a little bit too dry, then you want to just put the bowl under the sink and slowly drizzle in some water and mix around until it gets really runny. It should be basically the sort of texture where you're taking the bowl and you pour it into the sink, spring full foam ba uh, pan and just it just goes in easily it just sort of pours right into the spring foam bowl if it's so tight that you can't get it out of the bowl it's too dry you need to make it much more wet it's not as wet as an omelet but it's also not as dry as a cookie dough mixture so you want to have it pretty uh moist and don't moisten it up with olive oil because then you'll just you'll just overdo it moisten it up with water absolutely now, if you want to throw it around and do it different directions, you can moisten up with more milk. You could certainly put a little bit of um, juice in there if you like the flavor of a particular juice with chocolate. So if there's a particular fruit flavor that you want to add into that chocolate, make sure it's a pairing that you're happy with. You could absolutely do that as well. It's all the spirit of the season. It's all about having some fun. Now, the when you pour that as spring foam pan, are you done? Well... I like nuts in it a lot. And uh, you, as you can tell, I've not made this in over a year, but I love it when I do it. And it, it, it is a very easy thing to make. It is a little bit messy because it is, you know, uh, in a bowl of chocolate and it just, it just goes everywhere. But boy, it is a great way to stay healthy because there's no sugar in this recipe. And one of the wets I, I failed to mention before is vanilla extract. Not necessary, but if you do have it, I put a lot of it in there. I put almost, I think, four tablespoons of vanilla extract. All right, once it's in the spring foam pan, then what I like to do is sprinkle on top certain types of nuts. Now, you can use any type of nut you have. But where I like to do is I like to prepare the nuts. How do I prepare the nuts? In a separate bowl, I like to throw those nuts in the bowl. I don't want them particularly that large. So they're too large. you got to smash them a little bit. But don't make them like uh, sawdust small. Just make them a little bit chopped up. In that bowl, throw some, uh, so throw some melted uh, butter. And in that bowl, you could certainly put a little bit of vanilla extract if you wish. You want to give it a little bit of coating. What we're trying to do is we're getting a coating to the nuts so that, one, they don't particularly burn as quickly, and number two, they have a decadence to themselves as well. And so what I do is I sprinkle them a little bit on top. Now, there's different ways, and you only know this based upon your own stove. You may want to add those nuts later in the process. After the cake rises, you throw them at the last second because if, if your oven is relatively a warm oven, you may burn the nuts on the top, and no one likes burnt nuts on, on, top, of, on top of the cake. Another way, depending on your style and how you like to do things, is you could put the nuts in the batter so that you have the nuts inside the cake, not on the top. I, yeah, I don't know if I like that because I, like I like the mushy, gooey um, softness of the cake itself. And there you go. Have some fun. Have some beautiful sugar-free cocoa cake. Uh, preheat the oven at about 475. Then when you cook it, cook it um, relatively low, like a 375, but don't cook it very long. It doesn't take very long to cook. You know it's done when you put it in a knife, it comes out clean. Probably about 375 for about 20 minutes. There you go. Time for some wonderful Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you can hear those footsteps right now. Do you hear them? That's Bob Bacon leaving the room. <laughs> Bob Bacon is not a fan of Brussels sprouts. So here we go. Here are some roasted Brussels sprouts. Aren't they as wonderful? These were done just a few minutes ago with some wonderful lamb, which is very cheap here in Los Angeles, about $5 a pound. Brussels sprouts are so easy to roast. Aluminum pan in the oven. You're ready to rock and roll. That's it. Really? Yeah, it's the <laughs> it's the simplest thing in the world to make. Now, the way you serve it up thereafter is all the question mark. Now, you can do the Brussels sprouts in the roasting oven. You can do them in a toasted oven. You can also do them on the on the barbecue. I love them on the barbecue. Yes, I do. I barbecue Brussels sprouts all the time. You see the texture that they're at? It's a slight golden, so you do not want to burn Brussels sprouts. They will be very unhappy if you burn them. Here's how the Brussels sprout is sold in the store. 
So when you buy the Brussels sprout in the store, you want to see all green. You want to see any black or dark brown. It means the Brussels sprout is not healthy. It means you're being sold something that has um, that is, is is past its prime. Brussels sprouts are supposed to be sold in a in a refrigerated in the supermarket, and they're supposed to be sprayed with the sprayers in the supermarket. They should be sold next to the basil, the oregano. So if they're sold in the dry area next to the tomatoes. Do not buy them. They're they're not being stored correctly. They need to be in a refrigerated state like like mushrooms when sold. When you bring them home, you do not need to keep them in a refrigerated state if your home is relatively cool. But you want to cook them relatively soon, probably within about seven days, not immediately. And the great element of a Brussels sprout is, of course, the color. The holiday season, just put it on the table as decoration because it does look like a beautiful Christmas ornament. It's a beautiful green ball. And all you have to do is dress it up with some shavings of red bell peppers. There you go, red and green. It is deliciousness accordingly. How do I serve the Brussels sprout? A lot of people have different ways to serve up the Brussels sprouts. I particularly, my fan favorite is putting the Brussels sprout once cooked in a, in a bowl and then dousing it with some balsamic vinegar and then, sh and then smothering it with some Parmesan cheese. <gasps> Parmesan cheese, it can be, you know, the store-bought Parmesan cheese, or it can be the real thing. And then, and then olive oil. Oh, my. Uh, well, no, excuse me, uh, um, balsamic oil. It's just incredible. I don't know why I think Brussels sprouts need to be doused with an oil before eating. Otherwise, they come off just as a very dry item. They needed to be doused with some type of oil. I prefer balsamic. Maybe you like another oil, like a peanut oil. Maybe you like an olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil. But on top of that, I need it to be paired with another flavor. And that flavor I like it to be paired with is Parmesan cheese. How do you like to pair it? And with that, let's go back into the CPI and that data we're dealing with today and what we're going to see this week as well. So this week, we are going to see the impact of lower gas prices and its impact on the markets and also Jay Powell. Tomorrow, the Federal Reserve will announce its policies, but that's likely not a surprise across the board. The policies for the Federal Reserve will be likely a 50 basis point increase in that December FOMC meeting, which starts for two days starting tomorrow. And then... What happens thereafter? Well, December 14th, which is a critical day, is just a day away. And on December 14th, we're going to learn whether the markets trade up or trade down. If it was today, it would be a very fascinating story. Why is this critical? The bear market, the recession, usually do not impact what's called the Santa Claus rally. The Santa Claus rally is, is a historical event in which the markets trade up every December, a lot. And they start the run on the 10th trading day of December every year. The 10th trading day is tomorrow, December 14th. The markets were up 700 points this morning, then down, then up 100 points. So today alone would have qualified fine for the start of a Santa Claus rally. But if tomorrow the Federal Reserve speaks and the markets go down, now, this is really interesting. I misspoke, I think, two days ago where I said the, 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 the Federal Reserve speaks on the 14th. I said the Federal Reserve speaks on the 13th. They speak on the 14th. So this gets really interesting. Why? If you watch the historics of the Federal Reserve on this channel this year, every time the Federal Reserve speaks, the markets go up that day. And then the next day, they go down. So we may be fine if the markets react how they've reacted to the Federal Reserve in recent days and recent months. The market is likely to trade up on the 14th and then trade down on the 15th. That's still fine, so long as we get an update on the 14th for that Santa Claus rally. A lot of details and a lot of information. You're watching LLA, America's number one most watched financial news network on YouTube. Number over, number three overall for all financial broadcast channels. Now with three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. LLA Live airs on Channel 1, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. On Channel 2 is Stimulus Live, 24-7. And on Channel 3, Wall Street Live, 24-7. Shows start early in the morning at 3 o'clock and go all throughout the day. Don't forget to miss a broadcast. I'm in the live chat on mornings at 9 a.m. interacting with you and answering your questions. And our new hit show called Evenings, excuse me, called LA Late Night, which is at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, it's just a fan favorite. The last 24 hours showed the biggest numbers for some of our very oldest shows in several months. So thank you for your patronage. Tell people to come on over. Spread the word of mouth. 
tell people to watch Ally Light. Subscribe, share the videos on social media like Facebook and Twitter. Tell your friends and family, big money is here, big stimulus is here, big news is here, and we get it right. A loving community where people help each other and foster each other to make sure we get through this recession together. For the Shores of San Marco, California, have a delicious afternoon. Sugar-free chocolate cake for everyone. Uh, or, or for Bob Bacon, he just gets Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> for the shorts of Santa Monica, California. The deliciousness is here every day, whether it's with the Brussels sprouts or without. Stay informed, and stay focused, and have a beautiful, beautiful afternoon and a beautiful holidays. I'll be with you all holiday long from the shores of Santa Monica.